Uh, no, no, I'm not sure, but I think he's uh, one of the human rights lawyers. But the council came out, he got the letter, he got the petition, uh, and he, I don't remember his exact words, but what he said was very supportive and sympathetic to the request. So, um, and I think they particularly appreciate it, you know, we're here, I'm particularly focused on the chair of the American, the chair of the team, many Americans, the chair of the team, the many Americans. So that I feel uh, very positive about. And then we also had the opportunity to join. Uh, I think. Um, and uh, we, and I told them, when we were working on the United States, chairing the concern of Americans about uh, the attack on him and the attack on Wikileaks, and the attack more broadly upon the national security journal, some of the hitting mainstream journals in the United States right now, the New York Times, uh, has uh, we'll talk about, we'll talk about that and about that as strategies to uh, try and publicize the spread of the Wikileaks and national security journal. Generally, uh, and we talked about the fact that you know many people don't realize that, uh, that uh, you know, Julian has been very clear from the start that he's happy to talk to him here. He should talk to him here. As is done, as been done by the Swedes and other cases, as is done by the U.S. Similar cases all the time. The interview, there's no Julian hasn't been charged with anything. Sweden. Uh, they just wanted to question the typical thing that they do all over the world. Did you interview the person where they are? And of course, we have a particular concern about his going to be threat of extradition to the United States. Again, the Swedish government has never been willing to say, you know, we promise we won't extradite to the United States. The United States government has never been willing to say, we promise we won't see extradition from the So these are all things that we want to put in front of the public. Uh, again and again, people understand the issue uh, in this case. And, and, and overall, absolutely my priority. Getting people on the table, there is a real threat to journalism and dissent in the United States, national security journalism, national security and dissent in the United States, that is harming our ability to try to reform U.S. foreign policy. That's what I do for a living as a policy director of U.S. foreign policy in the United States, uh, working to reform U.S. foreign policy. We need information about what the U.S. government is. We're campaigning against the German strike policy, a policy which is classified, which the New York Times and Washington and the ACLU are working to try and get the U.S. government to release that document. So this is a very uh, important concern for me personally, uh, and that's why. Uh, and that's why. Well, I don't want to go into too much detail. I think it's what you can imagine. Uh, is that is the combination of the various symptoms. Uh, the uh, the he has a place to sleep. Well, I heard it was in the Well, I mean, the, let me just not, I'm not, uh, well, I, 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 not going to describe it. Why? Um, because it's, well, that's well, not my, uh, well, it might not be your concern, but um, okay, uh, you know, the, the, that's not what I'm here to do. I'm not here to talk about this. Uh, the, um, I don't know if everybody who is there. Uh, I haven't been, you know, I just arrived here in Chicago today. So uh, I don't know. You probably know all the characters. Uh, that I, uh, I'm 
be a very I think so. I found him to be a very good spirit. Um, everything that I talked to him about, you know, he's obviously following all these issues very closely. Yeah, you know, the, the we're uh, public education meeting trying to get you know, the whole idea of WikiLeaks and trying to get information out to people about government policy. Of course, you know, I think it was not part of the original plan. WikiLeaks has become part of the story. The war on WikiLeaks has become part of the story. But the, uh, you know, I, I can definitely tell you from the case of the United States, many people in the United States do not at all understand or even aware of issues in this case. Uh, they don't, for example, I mean, many Americans have never heard of the Espionage Act of 1917. Uh, they don't realize, for example, you know, Daniel Ellsberg, a name that many Americans know, he leaked the Pentagon Papers during the Vietnam War. These were papers that, these were documents that showed that the you know, top officials in the Pentagon knew that the war was unwinnable at a time that they were telling the public that the opposite, that we could still win the war. Daniel Ellsberg was an advisor at the Pentagon when he leaked those documents. The Nixon administration tried to prosecute Daniel Ellsberg under the Espionage Act of 1970, the exact same law that Bradley Manning is being prosecuted under, the exact same law that the U.S. wants to prosecute Julian Assange and WikiLeaks under. And we know that there is a grand jury, that's the public report of the United States, and it's been reported in, in uh, Rolling Stone that in fact uh, the Vice President of Stratford claimed that there's already a secret indictment against uh, Julian Assange. We don't know that that's the case, but it was a report in mainstream press in the United States based on a leaked email from Stratford. Stratford said the email is authentic. I asked congressional staff about this. They said it's totally plausible that there was already an indictment. So again, I think his plan is to uh, his, his, his plan, his hope, and my plan, and my hope is that yeah. President Correa will grant his petition uh, for. Yeah, we did. We did talk about it. Yeah. Uh, uh, his sense is that, the, and my sense as well, but he said this to me. Um, that uh, the, in general, government officials in Ecuador are very sympathetic. They completely understand why he's here. Uh, they understand the threat from the United States uh, under the Espionage Act. Uh, and they understand that uh, there is a real danger Julian, if he goes to Sweden, that Sweden will actually in the United States. They know what's happening in Brazil. He said he's he, he afraid that he will be arrested as soon as he steps on the uh, Well, you, street. we didn't speak about that, but he is certainly aware of what's been in the press about this. He's certainly aware that there's, you know, British police. I mean, look, everybody can see this. British police standing right there. There's, there's uh, you know, you see these cars around uh, that look like, you know, unmarked uh, government security vehicles. Obviously, this building is being uh, closely watched. If I were him, I would not leave this building. Well, obviously, it's a sanctuary for him right now. But how can he go to Ecuador? I mean, is he thinking... Well, I think that the, the hope is that we can build political pressure 
uh, with the assistance of the Ecuadorian government uh, on the authorities in Britain, Sweden, Australia, and the United States. These are the four countries. Britain, Sweden, Australia, and the United States that need to make a political deal, I, I think, uh, with the government of Ecuador um, that would address this case in Sweden in a fair way that would protect Julian from political prosecution in the United States, part of the, the U.S. campaign against WikiLeaks. Weak, these, these two issues need to be totally divorced. The, 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 the Swedish investigation needs to have a way of being addressed that doesn't expose Julian to prosecution by the United States under the FBI. It seems to me very friendly. Uh, the, uh, the receptionist here seems to be enjoying all the attention of the, the, the media and uh, everybody else. Um, and uh, my sense that uh, in, in talking to the council and others in the embassy, uh, that, you know, happy to have him here, they value uh, what he's doing, and they've, you know, they're very aware, you can see this on the website, they're getting bombarded with emails from all over the world of people calling for them to grant the request. So they're certainly aware of this. Is he free to move around the embassy? No, my sense is moving around inside, he's able to do that. You know, this building, the embassy, I mean, as you can see here, we're standing in front of this building. The whole building is not the embassy. Yeah. There's just one part of it. Mm -hmm.